welcome all of you to the College of Charleston. And we have an outstanding group of students with us today. We know your credentials well. We looked you over very carefully. You're among the best and the brightest. You've accomplished many things in your lifetime all the way up to this point, and we're very proud to have you part of the College of Charleston. During your years here at the college, the skills you learn, the studies you undertake, and the people you meet will shape your personal identity without any question and profoundly, I mean profoundly, influence your future. This is your time to grow, and the college is your gateway to opportunity. Please help me welcome Deva Sobel. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm happy to be here and very happy that my book, Longitude, is one of the first experiences you'll share with the other freshmen. On the other hand, since you've been required to read it, you may not have enjoyed it quite as much as I might have hoped, and I'm sorry about that. <laughs> In grade school, I had been taught that Galileo was the great enemy of the Catholic Church, that he, as the first modern scientist, had put religion and superstition behind him. But if that were the case, how had his children wound up in the religious life? It occurred to me that perhaps everything I'd been taught about Galileo was wrong. What if he had done everything he did as a believing Catholic? Wasn't that a much more interesting story? I'm not Catholic myself. I was raised Jewish in the Bronx, but I know a good story when I see one. If your experience is anything like mine, then anything you study will reward you eventually, and perhaps when you least expect it. 